Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. In this video, we're gonna do a tutorial on how to read the codes on your Surface Engine Zoom Light. We're gonna get it to that mode where you can read the codes and you're gonna read the codes depending on the way it blinks. So first of all, we're gonna have to get into that mode. To get into that mode, the car has to be off to begin with. What you're gonna do next is you're gonna turn the car on without turning the engine on. All right, on means all the lights on the dash are on but your engine is not running, all right? At that point, you're gonna count one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, all right? Three seconds, you're gonna put your foot on the accelerator and and what you're gonna do is you're gonna pump it five times within five seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. At that point, you're gonna take your foot off the accelerator, wait seven seconds, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, and then, you're gonna put your foot on the accelerator and keep it there for anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds, all right? I'm gonna do it with you guys right now, all right? The car is now on. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Foot on the accelerator, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. At which point your service engine soon light should start blinking. All right. So we're gonna get to the next part of reading the codes. It's gonna blink at different speeds. guys welcome to the second part of this video hopefully you guys got to this second part and it worked out getting into uh, the mode to to read the the error code so basically uh, if you got to this point what's gonna happen is there's gonna be uh, obviously there's gonna be blinking your your uh, service engine soon it's gonna be blinking and it's gonna be be blinking at different speeds all right, so you guys are gonna have to read it uh, from the number of blinks, the pause, and the number of blinks, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit. Um, you're gonna have to get used to reading it because it took me a couple of tries to get to that point where I was able to read the codes exactly. So basically, the way this works is. There's gonna be a P on every single one of this code. These codes are gonna start out with a P. So if you guys wanna, you know, keep that in your head, it starts with a P, and then it's that's, it's gonna, you know, the the first couple of blinks are gonna be slow. It's gonna be the slowest. It, there's gonna be a pause. All right, and it's gonna it's gonna blink. You know, whatever the numbers are, it's gonna pause and it's gonna do that for four numbers. Or letter all right basically if it blinks ten times it's a zero all right if it blinks eleven times it's an A all right it's it's a letter it's an A all right if it blinks eleven times it's an A if it blinks ten times it's a zero any number of blinks from one to nine is is one to nine so let's let's do it with with this sample that I have up all right, so if you guys are looking at this right now, it's, all right, you're gonna have a P, you're gonna start out with a P. Every single one of these codes start out with a P. All right, the first two blinks are gonna be the slowest blinks. Uh, in this example, it blinked two times, one, two, and then there's gonna be a longer, uh, you know, a pause, and then it'll blink 11 times, and then there's gonna be a pause, it's gonna blink 10 times, there's gonna be another pause, and it's gonna blink 10 times. So the code reads P, two for the first two blinks, A, because there's 11 blinks. After that, it's gonna be 10, which is a zero, 10, which is a zero. So let's do this, all right, look at it again. So it's P, and then it's gonna blink one, two, Pause, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, which is the letter A. All right, pause. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which is a zero. Pause. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which is another zero. So it's P A no P two A zero zero. So I'm only using this example uh, because this is the code that I had up. Uh, if you guys look, this is the code that came up on my uh, OBD2 reader. So basically, most of the codes are not going to have a letter. Most of the codes are going to have uh, a P and then four numbers. All right. This is one of the rare codes that has an A, which is a letter. So normally, uh, if you have any other codes outside this code, it's going to be P and four numbers. All right. So in this instance, P A two zero zero. It is a. It, it reads on OBD two sensor as a. I believe. I'm not looking at it right now, but I believe it says um, oxygen sensor error leak or whatever. But if you guys get, if you guys are getting this code, and this is one of the most common codes that's out there, um, you know, you guys, if you guys want to go to the gas cap, tighten it up, and then, you know, reset the code. If it comes back, it means that you know it's it is what it, it states on there. But most of the time, it's your gas cap that's not tight enough. That's why that code comes up. But outside of that code, if you guys get any other code, then you know you're gonna have your car you know checked out or do some work on your car depending on what the codes are. But with this code right here that's coming up, you know just uh, you know your first thing you should the first thing you should do is to tighten your gas cap, uh, uh, turn off the car. Reset. Turn off your gas cap. Reset the code. Uh, if it doesn't turn, you know the the, the uh, service engine light doesn't come back on. Uh, that means that you know that was the issue that was causing the service engine light to pop up. However, if this is not, you know, if, if your service engine soon light uh, stays on after you tighten it and cleared it, that pretty much means that that's. Uh, it's it's the issue that's on you know that's it's the issue that that's what the code you know what's you know what the code is. All right, guys. So, like I said, it's gonna take a little bit of time to fig you know to 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 get it to figure out actually you know how to how to read it. You know you might have to you know do it a couple of times. But if you guys. If it doesn't work out for you, what you guys could do is you guys could get an OBD2 reader. They sell it for like 19 bucks, you know, at Walmart. They sell it for around that price on eBay, Amazon. Or if you guys, you know, you guys can drive to uh, uh, AutoZone or Advanced Auto, any other parts stores that does any of these simple um, service engine soon light diagnostics. Um, you guys can get them to check it out for free. They'll pull the codes for you. Guys, so welcome to the third part of this video. So basically, this third part is on clearing the service engine soon light, clearing the codes. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna turn off the car and turn it back on. That light is not gonna be there on the dash anymore. It's gonna be cleared from from the computer in your car but just to note if that error is still there if that issue is still there that's causing the code that code that service engine soon light is going to pop back up reason being is your car goes through a driving cycle and when what I mean when I say going through a driving cycle is the computer checks out each and every sensor all right in when you're driving so at which point when you're driving and your computer gets to that sensor that's that's the issue if that sensor is the issue then your service engine soon light will pop up again and and if it does that you're going to have to go through the whole entire process of clearing it um again so just to note all right if, when you clear the service engine soon light uh 
from your dash, it actually it does clear it from the system. But what happens is your car will will tr go through a driving cycle, and during that driving cycle, once it gets to that sensor, uh, your service engine soon light. If there if there is still an issue, it will pop up again, and that driving cycle is is kind of dependent on how much you drive or what kind of driving you do. So the computer goes through each sensor, um, you know, depending on you know the speeds that you're going at, how much you're driving, uh, stuff like that. So just to have you know, turn it off by by clearing it. Uh, all you gotta do is. Uh, turn off your car and turn it back on, uh, but it, it it will clear it from your system. But but it's gonna come back up. It's gonna pop back up if there is a lingering issue with you know a sensor or whatever component is uh, of your car. All right, guys. Hope this helped you guys out. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you guys have any questions. Or comments you know please feel free to leave your questions comments uh, in the comment section and please subscribe guys all right